welcome back. This is the final game of the season. It is AA Ghent versus Roma, and this is the Europa League Conference League final. So let's get straight into it. League table, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we are completely capitulated after the Inter Milan game. You can see we've finished the season in third place again, which is not bad. Um, if we look at the uh, season preview, let's see where they expected us to be. They expected us to be about fourth, so we've kind of done one stage, one position better. You can see, look, Juventus are way out of Europe, so they've definitely sacked their, their manager. But we focus on ourselves. We had 24 wins, 9 draws and 5 losses, which, again, is not bad. A goal difference of 40. So we were the, you know, fourth um, goal-scoring team. Let's get into the schedule, ladies and gentlemen, and see what happened when the last game we played. As you would have known, ladies and gentlemen, the last game we played was the Inter Milan 3-0 defeat. Then we went in back to winning ways, Torino winning 2-0. They then played Lokomotiv Moscow, again winning 3-0. And this is where you just said, you know what, the season was over. Um, Salamatana, they beat us 4 3 again. It was just, yeah, just, I don't know what to say. But then we played Lokomotiv in the second round. We went through to the final, winning 4 0. Um, then we played Soswala, where we drew 1 1. Spezia, we drew, we won, sorry, 1 0 away from home. And Calgary, the last game of the season, we won 1 0. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into it. We ain't going to waste no time. It is the Euro Cup 2 final also known as the Europa League Conference League. So let's have a look and see who we're going to play today. Starting lineup will probably be it, a starting lineup that everybody knows. So we've got Patricio in goal. We have Vina, Imbanaz, Mancini and Quasdorp, Cristante and Virtut. And we have Mkhitaryan, Pellegrini and Zanolio. And we have Mariano up front. That is the team that we're going to play with today. And hopefully we will be able to do the job. Yes. We all know, you know, you are looking at the fact of we are favourites to obviously win this game. You're putting us down, but for manager um, has its way of changing those things. So as long as we play our game and we do what we need to do, we should win the game. But again, like I said, it is all about what we do. And, it, you know, this season's it's been, you know what, I have to be honest, I shouldn't be salty on that loss there. We, I have to admit, we've had a good season. We actually have had a good season. There's a few games there where we've dropped points and stuff, which we shouldn't have. Um, and there's games where we should have dropped points and, you know, we 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 um, managed to claw back at least a point or even a victory. So I guess I think I'm being a bit harsh um, considering that um, Inter Milan game is probably um, one of a very small amount of games that we have not played good. Again, this is where we're going to have to look off-season and see where we're going to try and push this team where we're going to improve. Remember, next season, we are going to be playing in the Champions League. My aim is to get out of the group if we can and try and get as far as we can um, just to get those money in. And then we can see from there. Be interested to see what type of players that we can attract because there are, I think, a few places where we can improve the team. We're definitely going to need a backup goalkeeper. Uh, luckily for us, Ruben Patricio has um, been completely fit throughout the whole season, which is really good. Um, but again, I think we need to work on maybe the left back position. Um, definitely a number 10 if we are going to think about playing that. I'm not too sure. And probably wingers as well and a striker. So there is quite a few things to do. But again, a lot of teams are after our players. So we have to try and hopefully keep hold of those players. We have signed a few deals, new deals for some of the players. Um, but that's not going to stop them from going. But so far, we seem to be... Um, having this game in the bag, seven shots, three on target, 58 um, XG, uh, pass completion, 94, as you can see, and possession with us just sift across. But it's all about what we're going to do next. Can we have a demand more? Let's work harder. And um, hopefully we can get something from this game. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments how, you've, how you're finding this save. If you're enjoying it, I'm definitely enjoying it. It's something different for me. Um, and I hope you're all enjoying it as well. I'm hoping next season will be a big season. Just remember, for those that don't know, um, there'll be a lot of series in this. So this is just my fallen giant saves where, again, like I said, we are going to be playing um, through a lot of teams. Um, so stay tuned once we kind of sort out this Roma team, who the next team will be trying to, um, to emulate or trying to get back to the 
to the glory days if there are any suggestions you have ladies and gentlemen feel free drop it in the comments below let me know um who you would like me to manage next um, i have a few ideas but i'm always happy to go with what you all may like right so far it's, it's no highlights so far we've had 33 minutes that has gone and surprisingly there's been no highlights um but so far match stats are looking more at us we've got a lot of players that are tired uh, we're going to switch up a bit. We're going to play 4 2 3 1 Tiki Taka just to ease us off a bit because um, we are playing a Gagan press. And let's see, so far, it's it's a boring final. Um, you know, not expecting this. I was expecting that we would at least, you know, do what we need to do. Um, but so far, I guess, you know, we're going to go into the, into the first end of the first half, nil nil. But so far, there hasn't been anything going on here. It's, it's been boring. But you can see we've probably been the better side. Um, and that's it. We need to gain more possession and create something from it. Um, this is very, very worrying because I'm not sure where this game is going to go now. We've had uh, 10 shots free on target. Um, and so far, we haven't had no highlight. Right, there we go. Vinar with the throw into Mkhitaryan's feet. Let, now let's see what we can do. He spins off really well. Cristante on the ball. Great ball into Vertut. What is he going to do? He does find Mkhitaryan. Can he find the back of the net? No, he doesn't. How he misses that, I don't know. But that's been a little bit of our season so far. We've been in great positions, but we just don't have the clinical players to finish off the game. That could have been a great start to the second half. we got to make sure that we do our job. But so far, it's us that's been the better side. But it seems we are not creating enough. Um, right, we're going to have to look at the team. We're going to look at the instructions. Um, let's get them overlapping and using the wider position. Let's take that off. Let's go standard. Let's see if that is going to make some sort of change. I'm hoping so, but it's been a boring final so far, I must say. I'm not sure why that's going on there. Right, 55 minutes have gone. Uh, so far, it is a boring final. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Wouldn't have expected it to be like this. You would have probably thought we would have been a few goals up by now, but clearly not. 12 shots, 4 on target. Do I dare go attacking? We might as well. We might as well go attacking and see how that goes. So far, a few players are looking really, really tired. We've got about 20 minutes, 28 minutes plus stoppage time until the end of the game. And can we get something from this game? It's, again, it's been boring. It's been a very boring final. No highlights whatsoever bar one. I don't know what does that mean. Does that mean that we're poor or does it mean that Ghent have done their their homework and they're stopping us from doing um, anything? But I'm sure, surely you're going to show a highlight. Right, here we go. Santon on the ball. He plays it back to Patricia again. This is our Tiki Taka, so we are going to be passing the ball very short. We're going to be passing it around, but we're going to try and aim for those wide areas. Those are our dangerous areas, so let's use it. Vinner on the ball. Great ball, see? Into space, into Mkhitaryan. He has plenty of space to try and find someone. He plays it into Vina. He turns past one. Cristante on the ball. It's a very dangerous area. You don't want to lose the ball there. There we go. Into Cristante. He is being pressured there. But he managed to find Vina. He's going to cross that ball in. And there we go, Mariano. Right into the near post. There we go. He slots it in. And a great move from Roma. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The first goal of the game against Ghent. And it's Mariano. And it's a great work between Cristante and Vina to really keep that ball, pass the ball about, get the ball into the byline, and Vina's there to cross it into the, into the path of Mariano. That's much, much better. But again, 1-0, as they always say, is always a dangerous scoreline. So let's hope we can do something. Right, very tooth with the free kick. Whips it and gets bended over the, um, the wall, and the keeper makes a great save. That's a great save. Now let's see what we can do. We are... Scoring a lot of goals from corners. Try and hit those near posts. It does go into it, but it gets headed out. Still have a chance to get that ball into the box. We'll see what we can do. We can pass it in. 
that um, Zanolio is going to go on himself. Vinner's there. And that's the end of the highlight. Just wondering if he's going to get a long shot there. But so far, we have been mixing between the Tiki Taka and the Gagan Press, which has kind of helped a bit. So um, let's see how it goes. So we've still got about 23 minutes until stoppage time. Let's see if Genk going to come back with a response or a reply. But so far, you're probably thinking that we've done what we potentially need to do. Right, I'm going to make just one substitution just to kill off time. So Noli is going to come off and we're going to put on El Sharawi. He's going to come on the right hand side. He hasn't been that bad for us. He's not a player we've used a lot this season, but he hasn't been that bad. Right, um, Diawara. That's, well, okay, we cannot make any more substitutions, so why tell me? Right, hopefully this will be the end of it. We've got four minutes of normal time, then we've got stoppage time. Let's hope that there's going to be no surprises in this game. But I think you can probably say that we are very comfortable. Um, but again, we never know with football manager what's going to happen. But so far, time is going really, really slow. We've got three minutes of stoppage time. And we're going to win our first, you know, trophy of the season. Again, I can't complain. The third place and a trophy. I guess that's a great season. Right. Just a few minutes, few seconds left, should I say. And we are going to be crowned champions of Europe, I guess. Um, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Full time. It's been done. See, the players are up. Fully deserved in this tournament. There's only been one good team, and that's us. But we are very lucky that we didn't get a team like Tottenham. They did get knocked out by... Um, I can't remember what team it was. Um, but they got knocked out by a team they shouldn't be. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. You can see I'm up there. And we are going to celebrate this for all the fans to see. The fans, you deserve it. This is what we're giving to you for sticking with us this season. It's been a great season, I must say. And um, we just wait and see what happens next season. Right, let's get into the dressing room. And very nice silverware. Again, fully deserved. I felt we've been the better team in the tournament. Um, and But we're, again, we got a lucky run, I must say. But next season is going to be completely different. We will be playing with the big boys. So let's see how we're going to fare off over them. So that's basically it. So that's the end, ladies and gentlemen. We have won the Europa League Conference League. We have won that, ladies and gentlemen. But that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. This is Former Manager Maniac. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit the thumbs up and notification bell. Don't forget, we'll be back for the new season. Let's see what has changed. Who's come in, who's come out, maybe. And then we will see where we go from there. But that's all for today. Thank you very much again and take care.